Good evening, Church. Welcome to our evening service. And as we start, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for giving us the chance to meditate si Mon Napulong Oga, di ka, Lord, magatag sa Mon, sang grace, sang mercy, mo, Father, to understand your word. Uh, forgive us of our sins, si ka, Lord, magaklet sa Mon, your hearts, as you come into your presence, Lord, di ka, Lord, magatag sa Mon, Lord, sang strength and guidance, Lord, to know your word for us this evening, and to fellowship, and to sing songs of graces, because you are good, and you are, you are our God. He says, may pray with the power of our Holy Spirit, Amen.
Guide ka, Lord, mag sang um heart, Lord, to listen, O God, si mo, Lord, your rebuke, si mo, encouragement, O God, ikaw, Lord, mag puno sa mo, sang heart, sang imo, Lord, ng wisdom, sa mo, nga heart, joy, Lord, ng pagpamati, si mo, napulong, and to obey it, O God, sa mo, nga life. Guide ka, Lord, mag cancel Lord, or mag um mag rebuke Lord, sa mga spirits, O God, ngayon, Lord, halin, si mo, ikaw, Lord, mag hatag sa mo, Lord, sa heart, that is wholehearted and committed, si mo, atubangan. Jesus, let me pray with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, our scripture text says, Whoever is pregnant with evil conceives trouble and gives birth to disillusionment. Whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made. So, um, commonly, di ba, um, some of the non-Christians, they used to think that Christianity ko na is a list of do's and don'ts. And I believe you that maybe some of us, sang nag-start na, no, I remember, sang before pa ako naging Christian, yun mamangkot ko, ang sa ka-friend, yung classmate ko man that time, yung ka-boring girl sang life, kung maging Christian ka na. Because damo ka dapat buyan, damo ka dapat nga i-sacrifice, damo ka dapat nga, nga i-unta ton. But those things, balahaw, aren't good man para mag mo. Aren't the best things that you should keep on doing. Aren't habits that will make you who God wants you to be, who is His image and likeness. Pero kita, no, human as we are, we have our flesh. And, um, um, reciting or remembering the verse in the Testament, bala, that the flesh nang likes what is contrary, contrary to the spirit, lainay kung nuya ang flesh ng spirit, kung ang north, kung ang spirit makato sa north, ang flesh makato sa south. If ang spirit makato sa east, ang flesh makato sa west. So they will never meet di pwede nga gahold hands ka kay Lord tapos gahold hands ka man kay Satan ang balman ni Lord ng muna ng hindi ka pwede ka eat balaw sa table niya and makadrink man cup sa ano sa cup sang demon so kabal pa that as we um, journey balaw kay God let's always make it an important part of our life to let go of any wickedness sa ito life sa ito heart sa ito niya mind and sa ito niya mismo nga testimony man and integrity And um, one great rebuke guru nga gusto ko i-share or ang encouragement sa akin to go on and to keep going nga mag let go sa mga sins, let go sa mga pride or whatever it is nga gastain or ga hatag balaw sa dirt sa artwork ni Lord which is our life is that whoever is pregnant with evil conceives trouble and give birth to disillusionment. Um, mabal ni Lord no? Nang 
those who trust in Him will never be shaken. And sa Old Testament, Balaaw, sang ginaguide ni God ang mga Israelites, ang ni Lord, not even one promise of God nga hindi matuman. And aside sa promises, no, not even one discipline of the Lord or consequences of our sins nga hindi man matuman. I believe that maybe some of us no, are struggling pa para buyan ang isa kasala, buyan ang isa kahabit nga kabalot na hindi man makaglorify kay Lord. Pero ang um, whoever is pregnant with evil conceives trouble. So ang evil, no, especially on taman ng kalibutan, it will always conceive trouble. So um it may not be now, but it someday no, maago magid na yang trouble. Hambal ni Lord, who ang uh, you reap what you sow, God cannot be mocked. If you sow in the spirit, you will reap what is from the spirit. If you sow from the flesh, you will reap what is from the flesh. And ang ano ba lahaw, ang season of sowing and reaping aren't the same or nor even nang at the same time, at the same pace, at the same season. So, I could be preaching right now, pero ang ginatanong ko yung aso, or ang ginatanong ko nga seeds are the seeds of the Spirit. Um, I could lie, I could be hypocrite in front of you, or I could do things na makaglorify kay God. Pero ginatanong lang ko ya, di ba kung ginatanong ka, di ba, it seems wala pa yung magkatabo sa babaw. Kung nakatising ka muna, damo, subong mga ng titas or tito sa so mga mama, tanong Tunamian magtanom kaktos, tunamian magtanom sa mga bulak. And sa iba naman yung gusto, yung gandiyan mag-start sa buto, balahaw. Di ba magtanom ka sa buto, bunyagan mo, after pila ka days, hindi pa na siya mag-manifest sa flesh. Or mag-manifest sa physical appearance. Di wala pa magkakatabo, pero deep down, gali, deep down sa ground, gaka-form na to amat-amat ang stages sa growth ng isa ka plant. So same as with us, Christians, we tend to think nga matago ko mani sa iban, no one would know. Same as ang seed, balahaw, habang gagrow siya, no one would e- even notice. But unless, sige tanom, sige bunyag, sige painit, until such time nga, nagdako na, gamat-amat na ko, until magpuno na siya. So same as with us, um, young people, um, whoever, ang gapamati, subong, no, na ang mayarita wickedness, compromises, no, to put it um, in a more clear and direct way, compromises in a Christian walk, Nang gamala na siya tood, pero pag sige na siya tanong, sige na siya itagaan attention, tagaan sang sunlight, tagaan sang tubig, it will grow, it will become mature. So, um, subong, you will, not, you will not feel it yet, di mo na siya mabatsyagan subong, di mo na, di mo na siya ma, mahambal, eh sala pa ni, or di mo bala mahambal nga, nga dako, gid ang epekto, si mo. But someday, but sooner or later, no, you will reap. I don't even know, maybe five years from now, maybe maripo pa na siya sa pagbata mo. Maybe man paripo pa na sa tigulang ka na. So, subong nga, you just enjoy, you just enjoy what you want. But nabasik na siya this, no? Nang sa youth, balang message siya man is enjoy all you want. But, no, but always remember that everything you do will be put into judgment. So, um, kabay pa nung nitigid pag ilet ang atun nga self na madisive liwat ni Satan, na ma- nga mahulog liwat sa trap ni Satan. No bro, hontang isa kasala, thinking of no one would know, no one would even notice, but at the end of the day, it will give us trouble. It will give birth to disillusionment. Ang mga gining sakit, balaw, because no one of us, di ba, wants to live with a lie. No one of us, hindi na gusto may tuan, hindi na gusto nga butigan ta sa mga tao sa palibot. But ang ni Lord, if we, if we conceive evil sa tunga heart, sa tunga mind, we are already, um, giving birth to this illusionment we can never know what is right from wrong we can never um distinguish what is good and what is bad what is light is from the darkness so kabay pano nga um kakit amo sang mirage balaw kung ara ka sa desert no nang feeling mo kung sa tama na si mo ka uhaw di ba feeling mo dumi pand nga kita ka mirage ka kita ka man tubig Pero suddenly, pag mag-jump ka, balas malang gali. So, ka disappoint ka. So, same as with, with sin, same as with evil, abi mo amunan na siya ang way. Abi mo amunan na ang way para, para maging happy ka, para makuha mong pleasures na gusto mo, para maging success, para ma- masatisfy ang mga needs. Pero hindi gali. Because at the end of the rope, gali. It was all, it, it was all a deceit. Ginito ka lang sa enemy. And after a while, no, you will leave yourself empty. And kabod lies ang disillusionment in a sense nga choices, di ba? Gamater ang choices, gamater ang decisions mo. And ang kasukulubaan, pagid, if we are if we are disillusioned, we can never know what right choices should we make, what decisions should we commit. And um, 
we we don't make choices no ha basta sa saying we don't make choices but choices will make us your decisions will someday create your real, your reality your choices will become your life no your choices will become you so choices malang na nung ano git if i will not know what is right from wrong ano git ha kung hindi ko kabalo mag discern sang chak to kag hindi choices malang na siya but no those choices will someday make you it will define you it will create life in you it could be bad if your choices are bad and it could be best if your choices are best as of this moment and whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made i believe don't that we as christians we're vulnerable as well damo tama nga damo taga kagyan nga pain damo taga kagyan nga mga hurt and some at times we want to revenge we want to we want to be fair we want everything to be put justice in our hands pero amo na nang sometimes we plot evil to other people i don't know what the reason would be maybe because um amo um, nang evil no could satisfy your pleasure could satisfy your ego could satisfy your life or your dreams or whatever it is pero nang hambali if ikaw no gadika sang hole pag ginascope it out mo na dira ikaw mismo matumbada so as what God told me about this verse, Balahaw. When I do things, when I do sins and wickedness and rebellion in secret, diba, we tend to claim na wala man may nakakita, wala man may makabalo. So, it, it, it is just okay. Pero, yes, edi, nasyatod, mabalaan sang iban. But at, at the end of the day, hindi mo na iba nang masuffer, but you. But me. But ako. But ikaw. Ang ginobra ang mo na nga sala. You will suffer. Not your pastor, not your leaders, not your disciples. Not your friends, not even your parents, nor your family, but ikaw mismo. So, kung may ginaubra, kagili nga sala, gakot-kot ka na gali isang ano, isang, isang isa ka hole, isa ka pit, ni ikaw man nagili ang madagdag. E di ang iba nga tao. So, before you think, balang okay lang ni, because wala may nakakita. Ask yourself, nang someday, no, kung ubrahon ko ni, hindi man niya iban, hindi man niya makakita, or ang sinong hindi makakita, ang madagdag na, ikaw man niya mismo. You will pay the consequences of your sins. You will pay the trouble. You will pay, you will receive all the discipline that the Lord um, wants you to go through if you are really His child. So, um, false in the pit they have made. Church ng holiness, church ng um, striving to be, to be in striving to have integrity before God below. It's not something that is boring. It's not something that do's and don'ts listahan sa mga do's and don'ts in Christian walk. It's not something na dapat na lang ubrahon for the sake of yung maubrata. But it is something about preservation of your life. It is something about ng guarding you and protecting you from more wounds, more hurt, more trouble. Not just wounding yourself, but wounding other people because of the sins you have done. So, um, this time, no, um, let's make it to a point na hindi tigid ba lang pag isi-isigiyo ng mga sala. Let's not be a fool, but let's change. No, if not, look ang mag-change. Mas mad look ang hindi mag-change. So, kabay pa that we will not um, base our decisions on other other people's opinion. If other people would know, if other people would notice, but let's base a decision on what will someday be the effect in our life. Your God-given life. Ay na ba ko na permission yung mayano? It is not for man to direct his steps because this is not our life in the first place. So um, at times we tend to blame the Lord for what have happened to us. We tend to blame God because He is not working in our means. We we tend to blame the blame the Lord because we felt like sila gurugam amati isaton. But let's always remember. Let's always recall nga si Lord arat lang nada yah. Maybe kau nagpalayo siya. So God would like to embrace us this night. He would like to assure us that no matter how great the sin is, no matter how great the enemy in your life right now, I would like to add, no, as we close, in Psalm chapter 60, verse 11 to 12, Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory, and He will trample down our enemies. So our enemies could be ourselves, our enemies could be our cir- the circumstances, our enemies could be our sins, our enemies could be our compromises. Whatever enemies you have in your life right now, no human being could help you because that is worthless in the first place. The very thing that you need right now is God. No, in, um, maybe right now, the enemy is trying to deceive you. He would like to tell you lies. Nga, hindi ka dapat magpalapit kay Lord because you've already fallen into that sin. 
lagi na sa pit. But allow no, allow yourself to consider it. While we are still sinner, Christ died for us. And God's grace, no, is great. Love covers a multitude of sin. So kabay pa that um as we as we restore ourselves, as we walk again in the light of God, let us hold on to you to God's help and not just on human help. No people, no person, how rich, how wise, how powerful they could be, could ever um rescue you from the pit as much as God could do. Now, it is worthless and only God can give us the victory. So, kabay pa nung before ta mag-decide, before ta mag the race again, if we have stumbled, ask ourselves, the in si Lord subong. Sa akon, ginobra nga plano, the in si Lord subong, sa akon pag-walk, the in si Lord subong, sa akon niya, sa akon niya journey, no? hindi na dapat madula si Lord. Madula na tanang niya butang, hindi lang si Lord. So, let's pray. God, thank you, good Lord, for reminding us about the consequences of our sins. Help us, Lord, to remember that it is not because of of the list is not because of of just ng do's and don'ts but it's because you love us that is why you don't want us Lord to live and even to live in sin I cancel all the spirit of the enemy that would like to steal, kill, and destroy the plans that you have for our lives I pray for every family that, that we represent grant us provisions spiritual sanctification and renewal in our relationships oh God ikaw Lord magpakita sa moon that you are with us and nobody can be against us that you are good you are pleasing that you are perfect sa amun Lord nga life Lord di kagid maga po kamayo sa amun nga life and teach us to be humble in times of um, discipline in times of pruning in times of um, redirecting our paths thank you for your love we pray for our pastors for our leaders for our church for every soul right now that is struggling that indeed Lord you will not hold on to our past nor hold on to what we can do in the future but hold on to who you are um yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus, name we pray with the power of your Holy Spirit. Pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for your guidance that we are still able to listen to your word despite this pandemic, Lord. Kabay pa that as we live our lives, ikaw gudang glorify sa mga choices, sa mga decisions in life. Continue, Lord, to um pun amon nga heart, Lord, sa pagpalangga mo, God. Ka, Lord, mga guard, sa mga mga sanctify, sa mga from the works of the enemy, from, from the lies and deception, Lord. I pray that you will um in you, uh, our hearts, O oh God, a steadfast spirit within us. And I call Lord, magakuha, Lord, sa mga hindi, Lord, namin na spirit sa mga life. I thank you for your love, kabay pa, Lord, that we will not depart from it, but will surely remain and inhabit, Lord, si mga mercy. We believe in you. We believe that you are God. We believe that you are Lord. In Jesus' name, pray with the power of our Holy Spirit. Amen. So God bless us all and hope to see you next Sunday.